Well, hello there. Have you ever wanted to know the secret behind YouTube commentaries? No? I guess this video isn't for you. But if you are, I have the secret to YouTube commentaries right here in this video. So without further ado, let's take a look at the secrets of YouTube commentaries. Uh, okay, okay, look, I know what you're gonna say. I totally didn't steal this from Ted. It may say Ted right there, but it's all a figment of your imagination. So, yeah, just just, just keep that in mind. I just totally did not steal it. I promise. It's all mine. You have an amazing toolbox. This instrument is incredible. And yet this is a toolbox that very few people have ever opened. So, is he talking about, like, people like me that don't have a brain that don't open it? I'd like to have a little rummage in there with you now and just pull a few tools out. Register, for example. Now, the falsetto register may not be very useful most of the time, but there's a register in between. I'm not going to get very technical about this for any of you who are voice coaches. You can locate your voice, however. So if I talk up here in my nose, you can hear the difference. If I go down here in my throat, which is where most of us speak from most of the time, but if you want weight, you need to go down here to the chest. Do you hear the difference? Oh, I get it now. So if I talk lower the m to my chest, my voice gets lower. So that'll be good for uh, changing my voice. And then we have talking high. So if I want to sound really, really obnoxious, then I can do that. Yay! And we have timbre. It's the, the way your voice feels. Again, the research shows that we prefer voices which are rich, smooth, warm, like hot chocolate. Oh, I could really go for some hot chocolate right now. There are amazing things you can do with breathing, with posture with exercises to improve the timbre of your voice. Then prosody, I love prosody. This is the sing song, the meta language that we use in order to impart meaning. It's root one for meaning in conversation. People who speak all on one note are really quite hard to listen to if they don't have any prosody at all. So he's telling me not to talk always like this because it sounds really boring and I will never get anywhere in life if I talk like this. Pace, I can get very, very excited by saying something really, really quickly or I can slow right down to emphasize. Hey guys, my name is Omar Zerbini, and today we're going to be doing another TED Talk video. Let's go. Hey guys, my name is Zerbini, and today we're going to be doing a TED Talk video. Of course, pitch often goes along with pace to indicate arousal, but you can do it just with pitch. Where did you leave my keys? Where did you leave my keys? It's a slightly different meaning in those two deliveries. Wow, I can feel my YouTube commentary is getting better by the minute. And finally, volume. I can get really excited by using volume. Sorry about that. If I startled anybody. It's okay, man. I forgive you. This tool will be good for anybody who wants to start an ASMR channel. So if you want to use volume, you can stop really, really low. So here is just a quick image of all the stuff you need to know the secrets of YouTube commentaries. If you did enjoy this video and if it does help your YouTube commentaries in the future, be sure to let me know with a like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, have a nice day. Bye, guys. I don't want to be a